Okay, let's talk about inflation today. You actually caught me in my studio today, but I want to talk to you about inflation and about real estate and how real estate can help hedge your bet against rising inflation. As you know, last year we had the largest inflation we've ever had in the past 40 years. So what does inflation mean? Inflation means that you can buy less with a dollar today than you could 10 years ago or 20 years ago, right? The dollar is worth less. Things seem to be costing more. As we get older, doesn't it always seem like things are just getting more and more expensive and the dollar doesn't go nearly as far? You have to make more money to keep up with things because of inflation, because the dollar doesn't buy as much as it used to buy. So that's, that continues to happen for a wide variety of economic reasons. I'm not going to get into all that now and all the politics. I don't want to get into all that. But it didn't help with all the free money that got pushed into our economy last year. That really drove up all the inflation because there was more money in the economy. So it became worth less. Does that make sense? So that starts to affect people. And now, how do you hedge your bet against that? If you've noticed, when you try and buy things like a used car right now, that's more expensive for supply reasons but also because a dollar doesn't go as far. So a combination of things are happening that makes life more and more expensive just to live a basic life. It's getting to be ridiculous to figure out how do you make enough money to just survive in this world today? And so what we believe is that real estate can help hedge your bet. Why? Because real estate keeps up with, if not outpaces, inflation. How do I know that? My parents bought their first house sometime back in 1950 in upstate New York. And that house they paid $12,500 for. How about that? For a house. That house, three bedroom, one, one bath ranch, nothing too fancy. But that was the house they bought and raised four boys in. Three bedrooms. How about it? That house, my parents' monthly payment was $51 a month for their mortgage payment. $51 a month. That was their mortgage payment. Now, my dad, to give you some perspective, made $1 per hour. That's what my dad made. We were not a wealthy family, but my dad made $1 per hour back then. Let's fast forward. Here we are in 2022. That same house, if we were to sell that house today, is probably worth well over $200,000. They paid $12,500. It's now worth well over $200,000. What is that, 180%? Whatever the, whatever, I didn't do the math fast in my head there, but whatever the growth is, it's, it's an enormous growth. Two things have happened. One, there's appreciation because real estate appreciates in value. It gets more valuable year after year after year. Why? Well, many times because there's less of it and there's more of a demand for it, especially right now. So it's worth more money. That's driving the price of real estate up. There's supply and there's more demand than there is supply right now. That's driving the price up. That's appreciation, which is great. It also keeps up with inflation. Think about the fact that things are getting more expensive and so are houses. So if you put your money into a house, then the value of that house would increase. That means the value of your money would also increase along with it, doesn't it? So why is real estate a great investment? Because you can buy it with leveraged money. You don't have to put money in cash money to buy a house. At our home building workshop that we do, we teach all the time how to leverage other people's money, just like you do now with a bank or lenders or a wide variety of ways. You leverage to buy an asset. When you leverage to buy an appreciating asset, that's a game changer because now you're not using your own money. You're buying a property, so you're paying an interest payment on it, but the property is appreciating in value. And every month when you make that payment on the property, the balance in the property is dropping, therefore increasing your equity. You now have equity in your property that's growing as well as appreciation growing. That's how you beat inflation. You beat inflation by putting your money and putting your time and putting your effort into buying assets that appreciate, that can outpace and beat inflation. And that's why we spend so much time in real estate. We help everyday people create wealth through real estate investing. Just think about what when your parents bought their first house, when you bought your first house and what it's worth today and what if you bought 10 of them and had tenants and then paying it off. That's what we teach and that's what we're talking about. I encourage you, if you're having a hard time making ends meet right now and you're trying to figure out how to do it, get involved in real estate investing. I don't care if you come and follow us or follow somebody else. Make sure you're following somebody good and somebody smart. But by all means, get involved in real estate investing. It's the only way to beat this ridiculous inflation that's going on and not have to worry about your financial future. I hope that helps you. If you have comments, questions, put them in the chat box. I'd love to see it.